Hey, I'm Dominic Armato for AZ Central, and I'm here in AZ International Marketplace. It's the new supermarket that's uh, run by the folks who opened up Mekong Plaza back in 2008. Um, and uh, as you can see, looking around, it's a little big. Um, it's kind of gargantuan. It's basically a big superstore. It's the size of two football fields, roughly. Um, if you've been to Mekong Plaza in Mesa, you could basically take all of Mekong Plaza and stick it on the floor of this shopping mart, which has foods, goods, from all over the world, uh, countless countries. So um, we're gonna go uh, drive around and have a little look. I'll walk you through the aisles here. Uh, Checkers here are getting uh, a little familiar with uh, the stock items for produce and uh, ringing things into the registers so that they're in the database for when they open up on Wednesday. Um, things are starting to come together here. There's a restaurant area over here that isn't quite gonna be ready for opening. Uh, there's still a lot of construction there, but it's eventually gonna hold uh, a Mexican restaurant and a Chinese restaurant and uh, shaved ice and uh, bubble tea cafe. Um, the floor here is large. Um, it's roughly split between general items and food items. Um, I'll walk you down one aisle here. Here's uh, a bunch of kitchen goods. Uh, not everything in the market is food related. Um, a lot of it is a lot of personal care, paper products, toys for kids. Um, it is more like a Walmart, not just a food market. However, even half the floor filled with food is still way larger than almost any other food market most people have seen. Um, so we'll walk through a little bit of this here and you'll get a sense of uh, just the scale of this place, um, the types of items that are on offer, all the countries that are involved here. Um, so we'll start over here. So this aisle here is big on a lot of seasonings, dried goods, spices. There's a bunch of Japanese over here. Here's something great. You ever hear of furikake? This is, um, you eat this on your rice. It's just a simple thing, seasoning mix. Um, might have something like seaweed, a little bit of sugar, salt, dried egg, sesame seeds, um, katsubushi. Uh, just things to make your plain rice a little less plain. All these different mixes, you can sprinkle a little bit on your rice. Um, this I'm crazy excited about. I read about this years ago, heard it was a fabulous Vietnamese curry, and I've, I found it here finally for the first time, um, and I can't buy it yet because the registers aren't open. So um, if you come here, I'll come looking for this. Please leave one for me, thank you. Um, let's see, more seasoning mixes over here, lots of spices. A lot of dried goods, uh, dried herbs, dried vegetables, uh, dried lily flowers here. I love this. The uh, pickled vegetables you use for Sichuan cooking in, a, in an earthenware pot and a crock. Don't see that in most other places. Pickled mustard. And now, turning around the corner here, this is an aisle that fans of South Asia and food are gonna be very excited about. Um, if you recall over at Mekong Plaza, they had some South Asian foods sort of kind of shoehorned into the end of one aisle, but they didn't have a real lot of space for it. Well, now they have a little more space. So here you have an entire aisle, both, both sides, all the way up and down, and actually a whole bunch of the freezer cases down there on the end are also filled with South Asian foods. So you've got you know, Indian, Pakistani, uh, and the like. And um, there's a lot of, there's just a lot of stuff here. Um, all the spices over here, pickles and chutneys. Um, so there's a whole lot more here than there was over at Mekong when you're talking about South Asian foods. <clears throat> this aisle is one that a lot of people are gonna love because here, half the aisle, Half the aisle, about 24 feet here, is all vegan and vegetarian versions of Asian ingredients and sauces. So, you know, if there are sauces or ingredients that, uh, that you can't eat because, you know, they've got shrimp paste or whatever in them, here's a whole bunch that you can. Um, the refrigerator cases are beautiful. They're clean, they're well stocked, it's, they're, they're, they're well laid out, they're easy to find things. Um, it makes it a whole lot easier to get through and find, especially if you're trying to work with ingredients you're not familiar with. Um, so you've got Japanese foods here, tons of tofu. Uh, there's umeboshi, uh, uh, the uh, salted plums. And then if you move on down here a little bit further, they've got things like the uh, Korean pickled radish and kimchi and, and sauce for making your own kimchi. I see dried scallops in there. Oh, here's one of my favorites down here. This is, uh, if you're looking to give like a broth a little bit of a briny sea characteristics, dried anchovies from Japan. So if you drop a couple of those into a stock or into like a soup base, and it'll just give it a real nice sort of taste of the sea. 
And one of the things they've tried to do here is it's obvious they've really tried to do more to attract people who are looking for Mexican foods, um, more foods from Latin America. So while, and when you come in, while the right half is mostly Asian, the left half is actually mostly uh, Latin American countries. Um, so here, you know, you've got like the giant bins of piloncillo. You know, if you need, uh, need a little bit of cinnamon, <laughs> no problem. Uh, Jamaica, whole bunch of beans, all the dried chilies and spices up here. There's chili piquin, chili tepin. I'm butchering the pronunciation, but, uh, but they're, they're fabulous chilies. Some of the big bins are some of the more commonly used ones, chilies de arbol and anchos and uh, guajillo chilies and uh, New Mexican chilies, California chilies. There's a lot of chilies here. And if you're into heat, let's scoot on down over here. Here's a section the chili heads are gonna like. Boom, hot sauces. And whole buddy, there are a lot of hot sauces here. And there are hot sauces here from all over the world. Um, I'm a big fan of salsa hichol, especially on Mexican seafood. I have not seen a bottle this big before. That's a big old bottle of salsa hichol. Um, there's hot sauces here from Ecuador. There's a hot sauce over here, a couple hot sauces here from Jamaica. I know there were a couple from Africa that I'm not seeing now, but I know they're here. And uh, up here, <laughs> there are a few from, uh, from Tucson, actually. Um, but, uh, but if you're looking for some heat, oh, here, here's one from Belize. Marie Sharp's Belizean heat. So yeah, it's, um, it's an interesting selection of hot sauces from a lot of, uh, a lot of different countries. So if you're into hot sauces, this is something you're gonna wanna check out.